We are here with the Language and Intercultural Relations program here at Ryerson. We've got two fantastic faculty members here ready to answer some commonly asked questions about this uh, really great program. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm Marco Fiola. I'm the chair of the Department of Languages, Literatures, and Cultures and the director of the program in Language and Intercultural Relations. And I'm Katie Safra. I'm an um, associate professor of Spanish here at the uh, Department of uh, Languages. Awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about the program? Sure. Uh, the program is called Language and Intercultural Relations. It's a language degree, but a completely different kind of language degree. We've started last September, so the first cohort started last September, and we're ready to admit our second cohort this, uh, this coming September. We're a small program, a boutique program. We take 45 mm -hmm. students per year, and uh, students choose to uh, focus or to major, if you want, in French or in Spanish, en français. Y en español. También. También. <laughs> <laughs> and the students can also decide to minor in French or in Spanish or to do an additional language. Right now we have Chinese and we have Arabic as well. This kind, this program is something that is unique in the sense that it, it brings your uh, knowledge of language and of culture to a professional level. And we give you the professional skills that you will need to use these, this kind of knowledge, this intercultural uh, skills and this, in, this knowledge of intercultural communication in a professional level, in a professional uh, environment. Uh, for example, we have a lot of students who are thinking about uh, going to teacher's college to become French teachers or to be speech and language therapists. We have people who are thinking about becoming translators, interpreters, intercultural communicators. We have students who are thinking more along the lines of working in, uh, in human resources, if you want to facilitate communication in large or corporations, uh, NGOs, international companies uh, working in Canada or Canadian companies working abroad. Uh, so it's a, it's a language degree with professional skills and it prepares you for today's world because look at our environment right now. We're in Toronto, downtown Toronto. There's no better place to learn about intercultural communication than this city and no better university to do it than Ryerson. Location, location. I think, uh, you know, if uh, the, the location offers so many opportunities and me as a, um, when I teach my classes in Spanish, there, because we are here already, there are so many things that we can do. Uh, for example, uh, during the International Film Festival, we have uh, directors, uh, Sp Spanish-speaking directors that come to us to give a talk, and we have our students directly involved, participating directly, real-life experiences. So uh, that's a plus. Yeah. A lot of our students have already uh, already have some sort of personal experience mm -hmm. living in an, inter uh, in an intercultural way. They are from you know, a family with parents who speak different languages, their grandparents speak different languages, they've lived in a couple of countries. Um, then they come to Ryerson, they come to this program and they think, I found <laughs> my home. This is, this is, I'm feeling at home with other people who are doing, or have gone through the same, tip, same types of experiences. People who are valued for this set of skill set the, the skill set that they bring to the table. Mm -hmm. We also have a lot of people who don't have any knowledge of the language stream that they're going to be focusing on in French or in Spanish. And that's not a problem at all. We take students at any level and then we give them a placement test and we teach them 10 more courses in the language stream of their choice. So if you're thinking about French or about Spanish and you want to uh, get a language degree with a plus, something that will be opening doors for you as something that will be opening your mind to today's world, this is the language for it. This is a degree for you. Bring your curiosity. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. That's a good piece of advice, bring your curiosity. Uh, on that note, are there any experiential learning or experiential projects that students get involved with um, during this degree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I've been, uh, in the last four years, I've been teaching this course uh, on uh, pronunciation. And, you know, what better way of learning about different ways of pronouncing Spanish? And again, as I said before, uh, there are so many ways of pronouncing Spanish, you know, whether you're from Spain, from Argentina, Mexico, anywhere. So we are so lucky that, again, the location, the place where we are in Toronto and in the downtown core, it allows you to touch base with so many people that speak Spanish from many different uh, places in the world. So I have this uh, project where I invite artists that come to the classroom 
and the students uh, in the course um, work on an interview. Uh, so they work, they research the person, the artist in particular, and only groups of two. So it's very intimate. You get a hands-on experience on how to prepare an interview, how to write about it, how to record, and then interview the person. You go to our website, ryerson.ca slash LLC for languages, literatures, and cultures, so LLC, and then you'll look for, um, for this. Events. Events. Uh, events. It is under events. You'll, get, you'll find a number of, uh, of videos as well as other videos that we've prepared explaining the program, and especially this one, uh, speaking about this course in particular. But experiential learning is something that we do, that mm -hmm. we practice throughout the program, so you'll get a chance to, we always say, you know, make the world your major and make Toronto your classroom. So this is mm -hmm. the kind of program that we have. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, in case you missed it, I'm just going to pop up the program's name right here so you can get in focus. So you can check out their website, uh, as mentioned, to learn more and see more videos um, about what it's like to study here at Ryerson.